What's up, everyone? Today we got a Godzilla X Con, the new Empire review. And guys, I was blown away. This movie was super, super fun. I enjoyed every freaking minute of this movie. Like, let, let's just start in. Let's just go on in with the review. So the beginning was sick. Like, it just started out with action. We just see Godzilla body this freaking um, crab kaiju and. Probably one of the best Godzilla roars I have ever heard. And then we're on Hollow Earth where Kong, we catch up with Kong where he's um, living his new life and stuff. And just real quick, I'm sorry if I'm not going through this movie in order. There's just so many things I liked and I'm doing this off the dome. So just bear with me. Um, So we catch up with Kong in Hollow Earth and he's just living his life. He's running away from wolves, like wolf-type kaiju monsters, I think. And Kong is, like, insanely smart, y'all. Because this man, like, he had traps, like, set out for, like, predators that would try to kill him. And I was just blown away. Like, I was not expecting Kong to be, like, this high-level smart, bro. Like, but then, then again, he is a ape, and monkeys are, like, crazy, crazy smart, so... <laughs> I probably should have expected that, but it still blew me away. But then we see this little moment with Kong where he thought he heard one of his kind and he just feels alone. And that just that moment right there just solidified Kong as like my favorite kaiju titan. Like, I'm I'm sorry to all the Godzilla fans that are probably gonna go crazy over that, but I just that moment just did it for me. <laughs> But now let's talk about Godzilla now. Godzilla was straight on demon timing this whole movie. Like he was just pissed off at like everything. <laughs> and nobody knew why. Like nobody knew why he was so mad. But really he was just preparing for like a, like the confrontation between Shimo and the Scar King. So that's why he was a little bit more agitated I'm guessing. Which makes sense because like Godzilla doesn't really like people disturbing Earth or any form of land for that matter. <laughs> but then we go into like the Arctic now, right? And we see, I forgot the Titan's name, but it was like this eel pinkish looking Titan that tried to eat Godzilla. And Godzilla just straight up charges up a blast. His atomic breath. I forgot the name for a little bit. <laughs> he straight up grabbed, he straight up blast the eel looking Titan into pieces. And we and I was wondering for a minute, like, wait, what what happened? Then I looked in closer and I was like, oh my gosh, he blew the Titan into pieces. And that was just that that moment right there was just sick. But now let's talk about the son of Kong, Zuko, or Zuko. I hope I'm saying the name right. He starts out really afraid of Kong and a lot more adverse to him. And starts, like, attacking him a little bit. But then more apes try to kidnap Kong. And he straight up grabs Zuko by the leg. And starts beating the other apes with him. <laughs> and I'm like, dang! <laughs> but then, um, I'm guessing what Kong wanted. He just told Zuko to, um, tell him where those apes came from. And Zuko says, like, no at first in Titan language. <laughs> or Titan monkey language. And Kong is like... Bro, just take me. So they go on this little adventure to find where those other apes came from. And it kind of reminds me of Kratos and Atreus a little bit. Because um Kong has the axe. And Suko's like Atreus in a way. In monkey form. <laughs> but then they come across this um this oasis looking part of Hollow Earth. And um this another eel titan tries to eat Kong. And Kong just chops him up. <laughs> like, so many eel titans are getting bodied in this movie. And it's... I'm, I'm all here for it. <laughs> but then, um... We head back to, um... Top side of Earth. Back in the Arctic where Godzilla was. And apparently... He's been charging up his energy... For, like, the final confrontation. And I was like, dang, this... Ending threat must be a menace. And... And I think that's when he gets... And that's when we're all in our minds, like, this must be when he's getting the pink form. Which, I'll get into that in a minute. <laughs> so then, 
we cut back to um we cut back to Zuko and Kong and they're in this fiery lava pit domain type of place. And this is where the other apes came from. But it looks like they're in slavery. And that just rubs Kong the wrong way off rip. Because Kong, from from the jump, he just likes peaceful civilization with his fellow apes. That's all he's wanted. So he's just really trying to uh, help these people out. Because he sees an ape gets thrown to the ground by a, a ape that's in higher command than him, I guess. And the ape just starts going at Kong in the face. Like, he's just start going off on him. And Kong's just standing there. And then he just socks him in the face. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, Kong straight up just right hooks the ape that was barking at him and just knocks him out. Straight CTE type stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, dang, man. But that's when the other apes alert the Scar King. And he pulls up in the most menacing way. Like, just from bro's appearance, you don't think he's a threat. But, like, you look at you look at how he acts, and he's like, oh, this guy's not, like, the powerhouse-type villain. He's a thinker. And you can sort of tell from the way Kong and him were fighting. Like, he's not a powerhouse. He's more of a thinker type of guy. Because he was just whipping him, scratching him with the blade at the end of his whip, which has one of the coldest moments in the whole movie. Scar King, after getting body slammed by Kong, uses it to call Shimo, and which it's hurting her somehow. And yes, yeah, Shimo is a woman. Well, a female Titan. <laughs> and Shimo has like chains ripped or wrapped around her neck. Cause like somehow Scar King kidnapped her. And we're just and I'm just like, how did he do this? But then I'm, I realized it was probably the crystal in his hand. So that's probably how she got kidnapped. And then Shimo is in agonizing pain when Scar King keeps telling her to attack, attack, attack with the crystal thing. And she finally does it. And Kong has to block it with the axe. And it freezes his hand and he gets frostbite. And I'm like, oh, shoot. And Kong obviously can't fight with one arm, so he has to run away. And Suko's yelling at him like, this way, this way, this way. And so they're dipping, and the rest of the eights are chasing him down. And Scar King is riding Shimo. Oh, wait, no, that's later, that's later, that's later. So the other eights are following Suko and Kong as they're running away. And then they find the um, humans. And uh, the girl that's part of the Iwi tribe that could... I can talk to Kong. I forgot her name. But um, she's uh, she's talking to Kong in sign language. And Kong says, I lost my home. And they're like, yo, this guy obviously can't fight the new threats with just one arm. That's when the goat trapper brings out the doom fist for Kong to wear. And it it is so sick. Like, I call it the doom fist, but it's not really called that. But that's just what it reminds me of. So Kong has a doom fist now. And Sue goes like, and, and the humans are like, I mean, they're saying that Kong can't win this on his own, even with the doom fist. So that's when Kong gets one of the, takes one of the portals up to Earth. Well, back to the surface of the Earth. And um, goes to look for Godzilla, which was a blessing and a curse. Because Godzilla, when he heard that, he was like, oh, my gosh, I got to come here and whoop you again. <laughs> so Godzilla is charging towards Kong in lightning fast speed. Mind you, he was on the other side of the world and got to Kong in like five or ten minutes. That is crazy speed. <laughs> so once Godzilla finally gets close enough, Kong is trying to tell him, hey, we need to go to Hollow Earth now. But Godzilla ain't trying to hear that. He straight up body bags Kong against a pyramid. <laughs> and they start duking it out. But then Kong gets the upper hand on him. It starts mink, 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 mink. By bossing his face up, right? So in the next part of the um, Egypt fight with Kong and Godzilla. After Kong is straight up done like mixing Godzilla with hands. Godzilla straight up grabs Kong by the neck. 
and does a freaking body slam or a suplex. I, I don't know which one it was, but it was a wrestling move. I knew that. <laughs> and it was just so sick. Like, I wasn't expecting Godzilla to be able to pull off something like that. <laughs> but um, Mothra comes back and stops the fight between them. And apparently the Iwi girl that um knows Kong was able to summon Mothra back to life and get Godzilla to stop so they can actually um, team up and stuff to face Star King and uh, Shimo, which goes into the third act, which is probably the best part of the freaking movie. Like, the Titan action was just... It was just elite. I never thought I'd become a MonsterVerse fan after seeing this. Because I, I like the MonsterVerse movies. I just wasn't like a huge, huge fan. But now I am hooked. Like, I am hooked, bro. Like, if you have not seen this movie yet, go see it. Just just go see it. It is a fun, fun time. Even if you're not a fan of, like, the lore and stuff and all that. This movie is a fun time. It is epic. It is sick. But um, that's going to do it for my review for, for you guys. Oh, wait. Let me talk about the ending. So... Mothra flies off somewhere. Godzilla goes back to the Colosseum to sleep. And I think the pink form he has is permanent. Because um, at the end, he still has the pinkish little scales and stuff. And um, Godzilla and Shimo... Um, there's just a little headcanon slash a joke that me and Senji came up with. Like, we think Shimo and Kong are a thing. And Suko is like their little son or whatever. We, we just made that up for fun, but it, it could possibly happen or not. But I just think it's funny. <laughs> and it could be interesting. Who knows? But um, but that's basically the ending. Kong finally finds his people. Zuko's hanging with him. Shimo's chilling with him. No pun intended. And, um, man, I give this movie a 20 out of 10. Definitely go recommend it. It is so freaking awesome <laughs> and hopefully you guys enjoyed my review if you did please leave a like subscribe and if it didn't and if you guys didn't enjoy it leave a dislike if you want to but share the channel out with other people tell them we'll cover more comic book and crazy movies like this and uh i'll see you guys in the next video take it easy